Right, ladies and gentlemen, back here on the show to recap uh, my second game from the NBA Doubleheader uh, from last night from the in season tournament. This game uh, in the Western Conference quarterfinal. So I'll recap it. What well, last night? So I'll just recap the next day because I was just tired. So, you know, uh, the Lakers lead the Suns here 106 103, to improved to 13 9. Uh, the Lakers do jump the Suns to 12 9. There was a pretty controversial call at the end of this basketball game here. Um, the Suns uh, questioned the controversial timeout at the end of the end season tournament loss to the Lakers. Kind of an extremely controversial timeout. Uh, they were going for, a ball, for the ball to get a jump ball. LeBron James, I guess, called timeout. But the ball was going out of the Austin Reeves' hands. So I don't get how you reward a timeout right there when they're not clearly not in possession of the basketball. That, that was a pretty bad call, I thought. Yeah, kind, of an, kind of controversial. And that was a critical timeout call uh, as well that led to an Austin Reeves three-pointer uh, lifting the Lakers to the win. So, uh, I don't know how you can call a timeout right how you reward a timeout right there if you're the refs. And that ball was definitely loose. It was You could see it. And I don't see how the ref can whoop up, grant a timeout right there. But LeBron was incredible all around. But they, that call kind of ruined what I thought was a good game from um, both these two teams here. Battling uh, to see who would make the semifinals of the in-season tournament. You can't. You just can't do that. And you, they did not have possession of the ball when they called timeout. Luckily, lucky that was called and the refs aren't, can't review it. That was I don't think it was reviewable. But how, how could they have given him the timeout when he he was calling when Reeves had already lost the ball. I thought he kind of did travel after catching the inbounds pass, although he did get bumped from behind. That could have been called a foul. But you can't do that. You can't be granted a timeout when you're losing the ball. I guess they're just trying to... The refs are trying to give them that uh, spot in the, turn, in the semifinals of the in-season tournament. I guess. But LeBron played a good game overall last night. I just wanted to mention that right quick, the controversial call. Would the Suns have won? You never know. Could have got that jump ball. Got called. Or, I don't know, they probably would have stolen the ball. Got the, maybe got a layup, took the lead right there. Maybe everything changes for Phoenix. But, it's going to it, so... LeBron had uh, 31 points, 11 assists, 8 rebounds, shot 12 of 25 from the floor. Probably having one of his most efficient seasons at age, what, 39? He's averaging nearly 25 points per game this year, 7.6 rebounds, 6.6 assists, shooting 54% from the field, shooting better from 3 like this year than last year. LeBron's playing really good this year and all, at an all-NBA level. So... A huge game, and I thought LeBron was the best player on the floor. Huge game, three other legit superstars out there, but I thought LeBron was the best player on the floor. <laughs> and he can still turn up, turn up, and make heavy defensive plays in crunch time. And he helped hedge and recovered here to help contain Booker, and then rotate over as the low man to you know get the steal. And then get a, uh, and then draw the foul. And he has really good anticipation. But he's probably showing the best of his career I've ever seen from the, from like inside the paint. I think he's shooting like 63% or something. Probably the best I've ever seen him, you know, shooting the paint. Anthony Davis, 27 points, uh, 15 rebounds, uh, 10 of 26 from the floor. I think the Lakers' point differentials this season is like LeBron James is like a plus 107, and then like D'Lo, Hachimura, and Davis are like plus 32, 29, 20, and Jared Vanderbilt's plus 14, but yeah, Tor Torian Prince and Jackson Hayes just haven't been good. But I'm, this really isn't the best stat to use, but it kind of shows Torian Prince isn't good. And maybe that's not showing it's good. He's showing he's bad, good or bad. It's just you look at his stats: five points, three rebounds in twenty-seven minutes, one two of six from the floor. He was one eight the game before, three seven from uh, the game before that, 
41% from the field this year, just awful. I don't know how he's starting. His man's probably going to decrease. Uh, now that uh, I believe Jared Vanderbilt uh, is back. Uh, D'Lo, 8 points, 5 assists, 3 of from 4. He's been pretty good in the past two games. Just an off game for him. If, you, if they got more, they might have won by a lot. Um, Austin Reeves, 20 points, 6 rebounds, uh, 7 of 16. Made a clutch 3 there to put the game away in the fourth quarter. For Hachimura, 7 points, um, 3 of 8 from the floor. She felt like the Suns, the Lakers were doing whatever they wanted in the paint against uh, Phoenix. Um, Vanderbilt, 1 point, 2 assists, assist, 6 rebounds. Uh, he only took 2 shots, but he played uh, some pretty good minutes. Uh, in that game. Uh, Max Christie, three points, one of two. And Jackson Hayes played nine minutes, uh, was 0 for 2. So, yeah, that's all the Lakers stats. Let's go to the Suns. KD, 31 points, four assists, uh, seven rebounds, 12 of 17 from the floor. I think Kevin Durant said something like, that's not the game, that's one play. It was a 48-minute game. I don't like to play about calls. Sometimes the ref isn't going to get it right all the time. Sometimes I'm supposed to play through all, through, uh, all the, of that stuff. Sometimes that's the mentality. That's an elite mentality. Look, I know Kevin Durant gets a lot of hate sometimes, but you can't watch and say he's a crybaby. But you got to be, you got to be real. Turnovers, and especially defense, were the main reasons they lost. It's really the turnovers and defense. They couldn't stop the paint. 22 turnovers and the second chance points for the Lakers killed them. They beat, her, they beat their selves. I mean, I know Booker was saying, oh, you could see the call right there. I mean, sometimes the ref's going to miss a call. Sometimes you gotta play better. You can't have 22 turnovers and give up 21 offensive rebounds and expect to win. 20 turnovers, you got 54 points in the paint, and you give up 13 more offensive rebounds. It's gonna be hard to win. But then again, they still played a good shot to win. 49% from the field, 48% uh, from three, but they gave up about like 22 or so more shot attempts, and the Lakers converted. Um, a lot of those second chance points. Second chances they got converted them to points. Uh, Booker, 21 points, 6 assists, 11 rebounds. He's really converted himself into really a playmaker this year, averaging like 8 assists a game. Uh, 21 points from Grayson Allen, 6 of 14 from the floor, good game from Grayson Allen. They, they got more, a little bit from their bench. Eubank, 6 points, uh, Goodwin, uh, 7 points. Uh, Nazir Little, 5 points. But Nurkic, only three points, and Gordon, seven points. If they got more from those two, they might have won this uh, game here. But good win for the Lakers. They missed the semifinals of the uh, in-season tournament to play, I believe, play the New Orleans Pelicans. So, yeah, um, until next time, I'm quiet. Peace.